behind the dog, really. Sorry, mate. <laughs> So, from minute. Oh, I look great, Thank you. Yeah, just Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank It's very quiet this morning. begin with, I'd like to introduce our um, local MP. Many of you will know him, not necessarily vote for him, but you would have seen his <laughs> face on a sticker coming in your door at some point. Um, but as you all know, fox hunting continues within the law and there is various ways in which 
we will be reinstalled over a period of time. Neil is a great friend of the Tiverton and the Tivern Hands and this constituency and it's a privilege to have him here today just to talk to you for a short while and explain where we are. So I'll hand you over for Neil for a moment. Thank you. <coughs> well, Kelvin, thank you very much. I think there must have been a few people voted for me because I managed to get back to Parliament and thank you very much, those that did. But it's lovely to be here and see you all supporting the hunt because it is very much something that we in the countryside believe in because not only is it good for the hunt, it's good for controlling foxes, it's good for doing all sorts of things in the countryside. I'm a farmer, as you know. Prices are bad for all farm products at the moment so make sure you buy British whenever you go out and buy and what we need to do with the hunting is to make sure we sort out a few Scottish people that we have in Parliament because there is no reason why they should vote on the Hunting Act for England and so when, once we can be absolutely guaranteed through a system that the Scots cannot vote then we will bring it onto the floor of the House and we will win, win the vote to actually amend the Hunting Act, to bring it in line, believe it or not, with the Scottish Act. Because under the Scottish Act, you can actually go and hunt and you are not fearful of prosecution. So, as Kelvin has said, today you will go out and hunt within the law. You can see the number of people here today to show how much support there is in this constituency in Devon, across the whole country for the fact that we in the countryside must be allowed to have our countryside sports and actually look after the countryside. So please go out and very much enjoy yourselves and I'm sure you've had a lovely Christmas, have even a better New Year and may we be successful in the New Year because one of these days I want to be able to come to you and actually say we've done something rather than keep promising you that it will happen in the future. I know that you will say politicians jammed tomorrow but I want to make sure one day I can come with some jam for you today so go out have a great day and let 2016 be a good year and let's hope that we don't have the rain that the north of England's having because Absolutely. we do, certainly do not want that so thank you very very much <laughs> uh, thank, thank you Neil when you do vote for him next time, if there is a taller one, vote for him. <laughs> I knew there was going to be something cheeky coming. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe we'll bring you on a horse next time. <laughs> yeah. is it, would you like to do that? I ought to, didn't I? Really? Pete, that was a yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That will be interesting. <laughs> Indeed. I'd like to begin by thanking our young team here today. Uh, many of you won't know, wouldn't necessarily need to know, but we've got a very young huntsman here. This is his first time here on a Boxing Day meet, and he's whipper in young Harry. And I'd like to thank them for the efforts they made in producing hands and the hunting we've had so far this year within the law. Unbelievable how he keeps us hunting within the law. But there we are, that's what the young are like. It must be all that IT they have access to. Um, thank you for your support. I'm, I've got a huge long list to tell you from the Countryside Alliance how important it is to be here today. There are well over 200 mounted packs out today, many foot packs, and it's vital that we keep that going until such a time as we can just slightly amend how we operate. Uh, but I can assure you, as I have done many years, if you keep supporting us, we'll keep coming back. Would you like us to come back next year? Yeah! Didn't actually hear that. I know half of them's gone out on the side street. Would you like us to come back next year? Yeah! Bring a bit more money and we'll do so. <laughs> we thank Father Christmas, although he is obviously a day late, but that's just the way he is. Getting a bit senile, old our Father Christmas. <laughs> Thank our supporters for making their way here today. It's always a big problem getting horses here and sorted after Christmas. But thanks for your support. We will keep this going. And uh, hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. Have a fantastic new year. And uh, we hope we're going to have a half decent day if it's not going to rain. And as Neil said, our thoughts are with those further north and west of us who must be having a horrendous time. Yeah. So. Uh, 
just uh, think about that and do anything you can to help. Beyond that, I'd like to thank our host, Sean, in the pub here, always looks after us. And uh, please go in and have a drink, make his day. So uh, if you all have one beer each, I'm sure he'd be really delighted. So uh, please support him. He never t comes out, so, but he knows that I thank him. Beyond that, we're going to make a move. We're going to go away here and around the town and away. But thanks for your support. It's much appreciated. Thank you.